everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a haul from one of my absolute favorite stores, Nasty Gal. So normally I kind of just do a lookbook, but for today's video, because I love these pieces so much, I kind of wanted to do a sit down haul, kind of like I do with my like Zara videos and all of that, just because I love these pieces so much. So yeah, that's the plan for today's video. Kind of just like a more chill, relaxed video. As you guys know, Nasty Gal is one of my favorites. I started working with them around this time last year and I'm so happy to be working with them again because I know you guys love them. They're one of my all time favorite stores, like I said, and they have really, really affordable, amazing, amazing, amazing pieces so i actually just gave away like half of my clothes because it was becoming so overwhelming i got rid of things that i haven't worn in years and you know what that means that means i get to shop in my crazy mind so i picked up a few things that honestly they're not even like specific for winter i just like saw them fell in love had to have them and then now i have to show you them so everything in this video of course will be linked down below and without further ado let me show you what i picked up from nasty out Alrighty, so this first piece is similar to one I showed you in my last Nasty Gal haul. However, it is a top. I showed you guys like a whole leather dress and this is a leather top. I wanted to do like a full leather look with like leather leggings and like just be super cute and super like cat y and just like super fierce. I love this because it wasn't like cropped and tight. Came with a belt to cinch your waist in, which just pulls the whole look together. You can also pair it with jeans, like I said, or biker shorts in like the spring and summertime. For this first outfit, I have a whole leather look on. So I have it paired with my leather leggings. I really wanted like an intense look for this. So it's very similar to the dress that I showed you guys. I like that it comes with like a little belt to tie with so you don't have to like bring your own belt because apparently that's hard according to me. And then I have on these leather heels from Amazon. I'll also link them down below. So if you guys didn't want to wear like the leather dress look that I did here, this is like a little bit of a less intense look, a little bit more winter appropriate. Let me tell you, it's very warm. I'm dying of heat right now. Um, But you could also wear this with like blue jeans or black jeans. You don't have to do like a full leather look. This next top right here is kind of like a white cropped blouse and I surprisingly don't have anything like this. You can totally just take a regular white blouse and kind of like roll it up and crop it to be like this, but I just wanted to get this to wear it with a pair of high-waisted jeans, either like my Levi's wedgie fit or any other pair of jeans and just like with either a pair of heels, a pair of like platform running shoes, a platform sneakers, espadrilles, anything. It also has like a really deep collar, which I thought was very unique. I think everyone needs a top like this because it, like, it's such an easy way to look so put together. You can also wear it with skirts, leather pants, the opportunities are endless. So here I wanted to show you guys the blouse just paired with leather leggings. I know I said I got this to wear with jeans, but this is such a cute look as well. Of course, I just have it on with my Prada bag. And this also works well under blazers. This is the top paired with my favorite pair of a goldie jeans. And then I just have a pair of nude heels. You can see how simple this top is, but it still adds so much to the outfit. You can either wear this to work or to like a holiday event or just wear it casually every day. If you didn't want it to be so dressy, you can throw on a pair of sneakers. You can see that the collar comes down a little bit lower. It isn't the thickest material, so I just have some boob tape on to cover my nipples. I had to get this. You guys know I have a super crazy love for leopard and for the holiday season, like I could not pass this up. My body physically would not let me pass this up. It's a sequin leopard skirt. As you guys know, little shameless plug in this video. <laughs> Sinye, my phone case company, has a leopard phone case. So I had to get this. I love making leopard look really expensive and luxurious. It's really easy for something leopard to look very cheap and tacky and it has to be the right color and the right print. If it's not, it can look very tacky and very cheap. And even though this is like a sequined leopard skirt, if you pair it with like a white blouse, a brown blouse, tight, thigh high heels, like you can make this look really expensive. I'm excited to pair this with the 
white blouse you can pair it with like a black satin blouse anyways you guys will see i'm excited to wear this this would be a great skirt for new year's so i just have this oversized white knit sweater tucked into the skirt and then i have it paired with some under the knee black boots you can do thigh high black boots as filming i remembered about these and i think these look better what do you guys think do you think that the black boots or the beige boots look better with this outfit i'm so excited to wear like even with this top, looks super cute. I actually got rid of a ton of my knit sweaters just because like they were sitting there. I wanted to get rid of the old ones I wasn't wearing and kind of introduce like new fun ones into my life. When I saw this, I literally gasped because I'd never seen anything like it. It is kind of like a white, really fuzzy, not fuzzy, but like, kind of like a mix between a knit and like an eyelash sweater and it's off the shoulder and then it has these beautiful tortoise buttons going down the front i got this honestly to pair and to like tuck into skirts but you can wear it with jeans with leggings a tip for you guys if you want to wear it with like kind of like a crop top you can either wear like a bra or like a bandeau and tuck it underneath and then you have like a little crop top this is totally something i could see myself wearing on christmas sort of christmas eve so for a really long time i was actually scared to wear this kind of like boot that goes under the knee because i'm so short i'm five foot one but i actually think it's quite flattering so yeah it's really cute honestly got this for spring because i thought it was the cutest thing i've ever seen in my whole life basically it's this like kind of utility i don't know why i always say that word when referring to something like this but it's this jacket and you guys will have to see it on because right now it's not doing it any justice it's this jacket with a bunch of pockets and this belt and i got it to wear with these shorts now these shorts look kind of small holding them up I just thought it would be such a cute look with a pair of like platform sneakers, but holding these up, like I don't know if these are gonna actually fit me. I thought it would be a very cute monochromatic look or even with this top, that would be really cute. So I know this is not winter appropriate at all, but I know that if I held off and didn't get this, I would totally regret it. So the shorts do fit. I would like if they were slightly bigger. Um, so if you're around my size, maybe size up one size from the size i leave in the description box this is such a cute set for the spring and summertime i just have it paired with some espadrille sneakers all these pockets need to be steamed but i just paired it with like a little neutral tank top you can pair it with white you can pair it with black anything i just love playing on the neutral tones and you can also wear this kind of like the first leather top that i showed you where you can button it up cinch it in at your waist and wear it with a pair of jeans. Okay, this next jacket I got with my sister in mind because she has like, she loves her leopard jacket so much. And I was like, you know what? If she loves her leopard jacket, I'll love my leopard jacket. And sometimes because I make so many fashion videos and I'm always buying things, like I can't just keep buying the same things over and over as much as I'd like to buy 50 teddy bear jackets. Sometimes I'd like to step outside the box. Now, I don't think this jacket is for the faint of hearts because it's a little bit crazy. It's a leopard fur jacket. It's a lot. And I think like this with like a really plain all black outfit underneath would be really cute. But I, I just don't know, okay? I don't think I'm like brave enough to wear this out, but it's a, such a fun jacket. Like even if you wear it with like a black dress underneath and a pair of thigh high boots and this over your shoulders, that could be really cute. Maybe I'll try to style that way. Everything about it is really nice. It's just, I think personally, I'm like, wouldn't wear this to Walmart, but you know what? Now that I'm picturing it with like either like a black top and skirt or a black dress underneath, this could be really cute, especially for holiday parties. Okay, so I'm gonna have to wear this jacket when I'm feeling very brave. I just have a all black dress on underneath and then some thigh high boots. And honestly, the jacket doesn't seem so extreme when you make it the center of attention. I like it even more when I kind of have it slouched off the shoulder like that. I find it looks and feels very luxurious. This is something I think I would wear like in New York City. I think it's very New York City appropriate. And honestly, like the more I wear it, the more I see it, the more I love it. And lastly, I got these shoes. So I believe these are my first pair of shoes I've ever gotten from Nasty Gal. But I got these because I've seen these all over Instagram and I think they're from the brand Tony Bianco. Could be very wrong. But Nasty Gal had such a big selection of like these square toe, mule looking things with like the low heel for a very affordable price. They're not like my exact style. 
but I wanted to test them out in like this more affordable price range before I spent a lot of money on them and I have to say I do like them I think I'll have to get used to like this heel height but I do like this like square toe and maybe with just like a pair of like black leather pants or black jeans or blue jeans it'll be very cute anyways you guys that's it for my nasty gal haul i hope you guys enjoyed that everything will be linked down below as usual don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every single week and i'll see you guys back here next time